Okay, this is chapter eight, problem three from CFIN six. Uh, we're giving uh, these uh, two uh, portfolios, uh, A and B, and each of the returns have these probabilities, uh, 30%, 20%, uh, and 50%. And then we have these expected returns. So uh, we're gonna calculate each of those uh, returns individually. So, or expected return. So, expected expected return for A is 0.3 times 30 plus 0.2 times 10 plus 0.5 times negative 2. So, that expected return is 10%. Expected return for B is 0.3 times 5 plus 0.2 times 15 plus 0.5 times 25. So that's 17%. Now calculate the variance for A. So these, this is part A. B is the standard deviation. So start out by calculating the variance. I've always found it simpler if I just do the variance and take the square root of that until instead of trying to include the uh, the the um, taking the the square root in the in the formula. So Sigma squared A is 0.3 times 30 minus 10. So we've got the 30% return here, and then minus the expected return. Square that, plus 0.2 times 10 minus 10, which that happens to be zero, so it'll cancel out. But 0.5 times minus 2 minus 10 squared. That answer is 192. Take the square root. So uh, standard, give us the standard deviation, 13.86. <clears throat> So now do the uh, uh, variance for B, so 0.3 times 5 minus 17 squared plus 0.2 times 15 minus 17 squared plus uh, 0.5 times 25 minus 17 running out of room there, squared. So that is uh, <clears throat> 76. Now we take the square root of that, get the standard deviation for, sorry, this is B. And that is 8.72. Um, with um, standard deviation, when you're dealing with Percents, and the answer is uh, is a percent. So, um, part C asks us to calculate the coefficient of variation. Go to the next page. The coefficient of variation for A. Oops. Is uh, simply the uh, standard deviation of thirteen point eight six divided by the expected return of 10. That's 1.39. Coefficient of variation for B is going to be <coughs> the standard deviation of 8.72 divided by the expected return. Uh, and that is 0.51. So uh, the 
we can say that <clears throat> that um, portfolio A, asset A, however you want to refer to it, is relatively more risky than portfolio B because the uh, the number is lower, higher return, lower standard deviation, um, and in this case, lower return and uh, higher standard deviation. So the this one. Uh, Portfolio A is the riskier of the two.